I paid $1,070.66 for this option. Well, by the time I looked at it Friday, it was up to $2,202.12. That is a $1,131.46 return in 11 days or 105.67% return on my money in 11 days. Hey guys, I'm covering April 29th through May 3rd, this week's winning stocks. Um, we're going to go through this fundamentally sound stocks moving up from their 52-week low on my watch list. And for those who watch it already, you know I like to start it off with the S&P 500, the Dow, and the NASDAQ, because those three give us an idea of how the markets are moving overall. And as we look at the S&P 500, we see that for this year it moved up quite a bit. But then after that, we had three negative weeks, and this candle is the longest. Remember, each of these candles represent a week. But prior to last week, we had a positive candle, and then here we have this positive candle. It moved up a little, but seems it moved down and moved back up. We had slight movement up, but you see we got that long tail there. So we still had a positive week this week. If we look in the Dow, similar thing. A little sideways pattern for two weeks, but it moved up nicely for a while. Two weeks down, one week sideways, but still a down week. Then last week, or the previous to last week, it was sort of a doji. Was a, but a positive week. This week we moved up a little on the Dow. And as for the NASDAQ, same thing, moved up nicely, started going sideways. We had a big down move here. But prior to last week, we moved up some. And this last week, down but back up towards the end of the week, Took a little move up, but it instead of ending up a positive week, it ended up a, a negative week. It ended up a slightly positive week. So having said that, let's take a look at the stocks on our watch list. And first we have the Hershey Company. Now... I like to break the stocks on my watch list down into three tiers. Three stars is the highest tier. It's the most fundamentally sound. Two stars is beneath that. And one star is the lowest tier on the watch list. The least most fundamentally sound. But, or the, the that's a double negative. The, the least fundamentally sound but at the same time still fundamentally sounds enough to be on the watch list. Hershey Company is a three star. They are currently at $197.92 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $207.10 a share in the next 12 months. Now, they have an earnings report coming out, and we know what an earnings report, it could be like going to, a, well, it is like going to a casino. You don't know what it's going to be prior to the earnings report, and when it comes out, that stock can drop dramatically, and you can lose a lot of money, or it can jump up dramatically and you could make a lot of money. 
if you don't have the stomach for going through that and you see that an earnings report is coming up on a stock you want to own, you may want to wait until after the earnings report to get it. On the other hand, if it's a good earnings report and it jumps up, you may lose an opportunity. In any event, Hershey has an earnings report coming out on July 25th. So, considering this is just May, you have some time until then. Even if you buy it, it grows. And then you sell it before the earnings report. But in any event, Hershey moved up a little, down a little, but more so almost in a sideways channel. And we see they're repeating that pattern. They haven't broken out to move up yet. And even if they break out, if we go by Yahoo's estimate, they're not going to go up much within these next 12 months. From 197 to 207, now, sometimes these estimates can be wrong, but they're making the estimate based on the information that they have available to them. Next, we have Biogen. Biogen is a three star. They have an earnings report coming out on July 23rd or the week of and they are currently at $217.51 a share Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $285.02 a share they are actually up not significantly but they're up for their second straight week we want to see what they do moving forward. I'm actually holding an options contract on this one. I'm behind a little at the time. So I'm hoping they continue to move up. We'll see what happens. Humana Inc. They are a two-star. They are. They have an earnings report coming out on August 1st and they are currently at $320.54 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $362.44 a share in the next 12 months. Now notice they do have a green candle this week but they've had them before they dropped well they really were dropping here then we see a green candle they drop more a little sideways for about three weeks then a long candle will drop here we saw two positive weeks then another negative week prior to last week now we're seeing a positive week but this stock has not proven to me that it's ready to move up just yet. Maybe if I see one or two more green candles, that'll provide some hope. Liberty Broadband Corporation. Now, sometimes there are stocks that when I do the fundamental analysis on, I don't find them fundamentally strong enough to be on my watch list. But even though I don't find them strong enough to be on my watch list, since I already analyzed them, I'll put the analysis out there anyway, or I'll add them to the the this week's winning stocks anyway just to take a look for any who are interested so like i said this stock's not on my watch list but still i've added them 
and Liberty Broadband, I believe you could find the fundamental analysis on them in my channel. I believe I did a video on that. In any event, they have an earnings report dropping on May 8th. That's a few days. We're in May 4th now. And they are currently at $52.27 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $111.14 in the next 12 months. If that is more so accurate, that would be over a 100% return on the stock, not the option, but the stock itself. So they've been moving down for a while. We see around four weeks of sideways action. And this week, that sideways action is continuing, but it's been a positive week. See the green candle there, slightly positive week. So, next we have National Research Corporation. They are a two star. They have an earnings report dropping on May 7th. Now, they're currently at $34.87 a share. Yahoo analysts don't have an estimate, but my estimate based on P.E. ratio is that they can move up to $41.31 a share in the next 12 months. And notice we had a couple of big drops here for these two weeks. Then sort of a positive doji and negative doji for the next two weeks, which are when the stock pretty much ends up at the end of the week in the same place that it started off in the beginning of the week. And we saw a little green candle. Well, not little. We, we saw a... I wouldn't say it was little, but I wouldn't say it was significant or big either. We just saw a green candle here this week. We want to see what it does moving forward. Shall we continue to go sideways? Shall it go down or shall it start to move up? Air products and chemicals. Wow, this this is a stock that I bought an option on and I showed you guys in this week's option picks. I know now I do it this month's option picks, but in the Patreon channel it's still this week's option picks. And it started out on the YouTube as this week's option picks. In any event, I bought this right after it dropped. And when I bought it, I made around over 100% on the option pick. When it started to drop, I sold it. It dropped for a few weeks. One, one drop, one week down, one week up, then three, week, three negative weeks. Well, now it's fighting back up. It's back up to around the same place where it was at the high when I sold it shortly after. And it's about to continue up. Like I said, it's $245.87 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate it can move up to $267.87 and 77 cents a share in the next 12 months. Haymanetics. Haymanetics was another option pick, but it didn't move up like I expected it to. So I got out of it quickly before I lost money. In any event, it's a two-star 
currently at $94.40 a share. Yahoo analysts estimated moving up to $105.57 a share in the next 12 months. They have an earnings report dropping on May 9th. It's about five days away. And you see that they moved up a little sideways a few weeks, up a little more sideways a few weeks. But now they're starting to move up. We saw a decent move the prior week, a little more bit of a, a little bit more of a move this last week well not not bigger than the prior week but still a move up so we'll see what they continue to do going forward we have amn healthcare services they are a two star they also have an earnings report dropping May 9th, about five days from now. They moved up a little, down a little, but it's almost like a sideways channel. And here we saw a green candle last week, but it's still moving in that sideways channel. Hasn't broken out yet. That's what we want to see. So, and like I said, they're $59.53 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $72.29 a share in the next 12 months. Concentrix Corporation. Now this is another one, like I said, not on the watch list. It's a no star. But I've put it here in the channel anyway. They have an earnings report dropping on June 26th or later that week. They're currently at $59.35 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $87.80 in the next 12 months. They had been moving down for a while, went sideways a few weeks, down some more. Last week, very... I should say, prior to last week, very small green candle, very slight movement. This previous week, a little more. So we'll see what they do moving forward. ConMed Corporation. They are a one star. They have an earnings report dropping July 24th or the week of. So that gives us a bit of time with them. They're currently at $71.76 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $94.86 a share in the next 12 months. And notice they had been dropping for a while. We saw three cyber movements here. Then we see them continue to go down. Finally, we see a green candle. But we saw a few before. Here, here, here. Are they going to continue to drop like after this green candle? Are they going to start to move in a sideways pattern? Or are they going to stabilize and start to move up? So we have to move forward, look at the movement that goes afterwards to determine that. Excellus Technologies. They are a three star. They have an earnings report coming out July 31st or the week of. Gives us some time. Notice they have been moving down, down, sideways a while down some more sideways a little bit down some more now we finally saw a green candle followed by last week another green candle are they going to continue to climb upwards they are at $111.45 a share 
Yahoo analysts estimate them moving up to $151 a share in the next 12 months. The Simply Good Foods Company. They are a two-star. They have an earnings report dropping June 27th or later that week. Now, they have been moving up one, two, three weeks in a row. They're currently at $37.34 a share, but Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $40 a share in the next 12 months. So they're almost at what Yahoo estimates to be their top for this year. Perficient. Perficient Inc. They are a three star. They have an earnings report dropping on May 6th. That would be Monday. It's well, actually, May 6th would be Tuesday. It's Sunday now. May 6th would be Tuesday. So if you're going to get into them, you'd have to get them by Monday. Because I said they're a three-star. They're currently at $48.11 a share. Yahoo Atlas estimates. They can move up to $69.14 a share in the next 12 months. We've just seen one green candle so far. We want to see what they do going into this next week. J&J &J Snack Foods Corp. They are a two-star. They have an earnings report dropping on May 6th as well. That will be Tuesday. They're currently at $138.24 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate them moving up to $174 a share in the next 12 months. And notice in the previous weeks or months, they've dropped quite a bit. But here we saw a green candle. We saw a red candle which started to take off but came back down. And then this previous week, we saw another green candle. The week started going down. Then by the end of the week, it pushed back up. We want to see what it does moving forward. Boeing Company. This is another company that's not on the watch list. It's no stars. Not what I would consider fundamentally sound, but it's a big name. They have an earnings report dropping on July 24th. They're currently at $179.79 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate them going up to $208.66 a share in the next 12 months. Now, they had been moving down, moving down. Finally, we see a green candle here. And this hand candle has a little size to it. We want to see what they do moving forward. Is it back down, move sideways, or start to go up? Energizer Holdings. Not on the watch list, but I like the Energizer Bunny, so I decided to add the analysis on them. Energizer Holdings. Not an expensive stock. They have an earnings support dropping on. May 7th, which I believe is Wednesday. They're currently at $29.19 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $34.25 a share in the next 12 months. 
we've seen three positive weeks, but only been slight movements, not big moves. Red Robin Gourmet Burgers. They are not on my watch list either. Now, they have an earning support that actually drops on May 22nd or the week of. The reason I found this um, company interesting is that they're at $7.32 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate them moving up to $15.25 a share in the next 12 months. I actually have about three options contracts on this because that's a 100% return on the stock in 12 months. So if the stock moves up that much, imagine how much the option will move up. Okay, so Red Robin Gourmet, Johnson and Johnson, I actually held them before, made some pretty decent money as they moved up. I had an option on them, let them go. But they're back here at the 52 week low again. And here we see they had a decent size green candle this last week. We want to see what they do moving forward. They have an earnings report dropping on July 17th. They're a three star, currently at $149.27 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate them moving up to $161.16 a share in the next 12 months. USANA Health Scientists, Sciences, they are a two-star. They have an earnings report dropping July 23rd or later that week. They're currently at $45.55 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate them moving up to $56.50 a share in the next 12 months. Now, this last week was a positive week, but they've sort of been in a sideways pattern for the last three weeks. We want to see if they continue to go down, continue to go sideways, or if they start to move up in these next upcoming weeks. Zoetis, wow. Zoetis, their earnings report just passed on May 2nd. That was a few days ago. They are a two-star. And they're currently at $167.07 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate them moving up to $216.70 in the next um, 12 months. Now, if we look at the chart, we see that they've had two positive weeks so far. And the ironic thing is, when I saw Zoetis, I had a good feeling about this company because Zoetis actually provides medications and things for pets. And having seen a few other countries, mostly in West Indies and Africa, one thing I notice about America as opposed to other countries, they love their pets. So much so that it's annoying. So when I saw Zoetis, 
drop. I actually bought an options contract on them. And when I saw that the earnings report was about to drop, I actually said, me and my wife sat down and spoke about it that weekend before they were about to drop. And I was like, look, I bought them, but the earnings report is coming up. We got to decide, are we going to let them go before the earnings report? We already made a little money, or are we going to go through the earnings report? Because like I said, earnings report is like going to a casino. It can turn out bad if the stock drops. It can turn out great if the stock goes up. We decided to hold on, but then I forgot all about it. And then Thursday passed, and Friday I go into my account to look and see what's happening in the morning, which I usually do. And when it comes to Zoetis, what do I see? It jumped up. So, on the option I bought, because I usually buy long-term options, three, four, five months out, and I buy them at the money, I paid $1,070.66 for this option. Well, by the time I looked at it Friday, it was up to $2,202.12. That is a $1,131.46 return in 11 days, or 105.67% return on my money in 11 days. So I'm very happy about the performance of Zoetis so far. Now, here's another one to look at. Expel Inc. They are a three star. They actually just passed their earnings report. It was May 2nd, and look at what happened as a probably result of the earnings report. They dropped significantly. Look at that long red candle, right? They're currently at $32.07 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they're moving up to $57 a share in the next 12 months. Now, I'm particularly excited about Expel Inc. for a couple of reasons. One reason is because I analyzed the stock and I found the fundamentals very good. I liked what I saw. But the other reason that I found it so exciting is because I currently have a programmer working on an app that when it is complete, the same fundamental analysis that I do on these stocks and put on video to provide for you guys, you guys will be able to do yourself using that app it will give you all the numbers and all you have to do is interpret them which you'll be able to do by looking at a short tutorial that i'll provide well this app is just in its beginning stages but as i spoke to the developer saturday morning and he provided me the first thing that he did was to, fil to filter out 
those fundamentally strong stocks at the 52-week low, at the annual low. I tested out the app, and it does that. And Expel Inc. is one of the companies that it gave me. So that's it for our this week's winning stocks, guys. I look forward to speaking to you in the next video. Um, I will be doing the analysis on Expel Inc. As well as another one that dropped to the 52-week low this week. It's not what I consider fundamentally sound. But it's a big name, Papa John's Pizza. So I'm going to drop the analysis on that as well. In any event, you guys have a great day. And I look forward to speaking to you in the next video.